Hola my friends, it's the new guy here, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to change your weapons. Um, it's going to be a pretty short video just because it's, it's fairly easy, but it it's, might not be something that some people know how to do. So what you're going to do is hold down R1. It's going to bring you to this page here. With your left analog stick, you can select your weapons, uh, your main weapons, so you get your hidden blade automatically and your tomahawk automatically. I bought this sword. It is a French uh, cutlass, I think. Something. I'm pretty sure it's a French cutlass. It's it's short. It's thick. It's it's fast. So, anyway, so holding R2 with your right analog stick, you can scroll down your uh, secondary weapons, which are more like projectiles. So, you get your pistol, your bow, and your rope dart. And in the middle here, you can assign them to certain spots. So as you can see, I have my pistol to the right. Um, I have, oops, sorry. I have my tomahawk to the left. And down here on the right side is your horse whistle, which we'll call your horse as, as uh, you guys know what it is. I'm not going to explain it. Anyway, so my rope darts down at the bottom here. So. To use these, uh, as you can see, oh crap, uh, one sec, let me just equip my sword again here. Um, okay, so I got my sword, and then I just push side, and I get my cool little battle axe here. Um, anyway, so to sheath it, uh, sheath it, you push circle, which means put it in the way. Uh, in the store, I'm just going to show you guys the the huge variety of weapons you can have what if you, you uh, can manage to make some insane amount of money because I'll show you this here uh, I'll show you heavy weapons first they are you know they're big they do brutal damage and uh, they're, they're scary but look at this one here it's quick uh, but it's uh, seven thousand dollars so you can get money to pay for that uh, all the power to you. I'm not really a fan of them, but your normal weapons are just swords. Um, you know, you start off with the normal sword automatically. You get your French Draper, which is good for stabbing. It's light and it's not very fast. But um, this one here, these two, the Cavalry Saber and the Hanger Sword, I would recommend them. Uh, even the game recommends them. They're they're efficient. They're you know they're, they're not really quick, but they're they have damage and. Uh, that's that's kind of if if you're going in that direction, if you like that kind of stuff. So here's the sword I have. It's uh, if you guys want to read this, just pause it. Whatever. Uh, that's the way I like to run my shit. Uh, here's your officer sword, which is more for looks. Obviously, it's it's uh, they even say that in here. It's weak defense against heavier weapons. It's still a deadly weapon in the right hands because it's lightness and maneuverability. Um, and then you get your cut toe sword, which is actually in French called a couteau. Um, it's it comes see as you can say uh, derived from the French word couteau. Uh, basically, it's couteau in French is knife in English, and it says that in here as well. Um, it is essentially a big knife, and you know I don't know why they had to call it a cut toe. Uh, in my opinion, through experience of playing pirate games, that is in the cut toe. But I mean, they have this everything else down pat, so maybe they're right. But anyway, this is uh, these are your war clubs. They're really cool. They're they're more for brutal damage and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, this is where you go. Um, and then last but not least, you get your small weapons, which are your your tomahawks and your daggers. Uh, this is your assassin tomahawk, and you know you get this one. I like it. It looks really cool, uh, but it's it's not got a lot of damage. But I'm sure it doesn't matter. You're an assassin, so you know the whole damage combo speed thing doesn't really affect you much. Just so you know, uh, you get your stone dagger, which seems to be pretty popular with every kind of player in the game. AI, I mean. Um, I would recommend the dirk, honestly. Um, it's it's really quick and it, it's you know if you're gonna be assassinating somebody you need the speed more than you need the damage or the combo uh, if you practice enough you're not even gonna need combo you're just gonna be straight assassinating everybody so uh, 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Um, hit the subscribe button if you liked it. Have a good time.